Hello, hello, my lovely collective. Welcome to Vivid Vibration. My name is Christina. I hope that y'all are doing well. Collective. So we have the storm in the box, the Nottos, the self, the healer, the king, the gem, and the bardo. Collective. Oof. You know, the, the bardo is the idea of kind of like seeing the in-between and I don't know, like, okay, so I was sick this week. Oh, oh, sick. Like, I had a fever. It was, like, bad. I was, like, waking up in the middle of the night having these, like, wild-ass dreams. I was just like, eh, what's happening? <laughs> um, But it, it felt a little bit like I was just, like, going down this, like, wormhole. I share that because I feel like that probably resonates with you. I mean, maybe you weren't, like, feverishly hallucinating, but... <laughs> Sometimes it feels like that in real life too. And I kind of feel like there's just a sense of confusion and like, what is it that I'm holding on to, and what is it that I need to let go of? And how is it that like, how is this confusion occurring in my life? And just really like seeing it outside of yourself in a way that enables you to really, I feel like heal like your pain points because sometimes we don't know like what that pain point is exactly until we like we somehow like have that pain point triggered right and then when it's triggered you can notice like that like the spiraled reactions that occur and then you can start to pick apart like what is real versus what is just like this thing in your mind that you're imagining or creating right um the king is a decision and the gem is just, you know, like it's a value. It's value under pressure. Um, okay. Collective. Let's see what else we can get for y'all. I mean, that's like, whew, it's big. It's big energy. That's for sure. <laughs> king of cups. Cards I can't see. <laughs> the emperor. I mean, there's definitely some like king masculine like energy and these are gender neutral obviously so take what resonates how it resonates and leave the rest we all embody both masculine and feminine energy <laughs> but okay we have the okay damn so we have the king of pentacles the king of cups and the emperor i mean this is just like I mean, I love this one because it's like drunk in love. This is usually just like a solid offer. I just feel like whatever this decision is that you're making, it just feels so like grounded and, and plentiful. <laughs> um, you have the 10 of pentacles, the three of wands and the moon. I mean, again, just this idea of there's a, there's a sense of, of stability associated with this decision that I feel like is coming from just like this recognized value of self that like first you had to like pull off all the ick, you know, like I just feel like there was like the surrounding ick that you've just been like wiping away. Um, you know, again, the moon intuition, just feeling like this outside of yourself awareness that I just feel like strengthens your intuition. The three of wands is a trip card. So maybe some of y'all are going on a trip. Fun. Safe travels if you are. <laughs> um, let's see what else we can get for y'all. The King of Wands. I mean, you have the King of Cups, the King of Wands, the King of Pentacles, the King. <laughs> um, you know, the King of Wands is, is set to action. The Magician, the Four of Swords, the Three of Wands, the Knight of Wands, the Ace of Swords. Well, again, you know, I think that like whatever confusion there was, I just feel like that like that confusion has been eliminated. That that wormhole. It was almost like you just like you just went down the wormhole so that you could understand where the hangups were. Um, and and now I feel like this sense of just being ready with a new truth. I love this. I love this because I just get this sense of healing, you know, and this strong like just this 
energy of like strength. <laughs> okay, let's see what else we can get for the collective. <sighs> okay, hope everyone's doing well. Did anybody see the uh, Aurora Borealis last night? Oh my god! <laughs> Okay, the King of Swords, the Star, the Five of Swords, the Ten of Swords, the Queen of Wands. Well, again, with the healing, you know, I just kind of feel like there's a sense of, of, you know, we choose whether or not to exist in a world of battles, you know, like you can engage or you can disengage. And I just kind of get this feeling of like disengaging from the battles. It's not my job to fight with everyone about everything, you know, like let people figure it out for themselves, <laughs> you know, like that is their own journey. Um, but I just kind of get this sense of like, with this decision of like not going down that rabbit hole. I don't know, maybe some of y'all were on some shrooms or something. Because <laughs> it just feels like, like this, you know, I don't know, like this out of body experience of going down a rabbit hole and uncovering like where the confusion was and what it was that you were holding on to. And then coming out of it, no longer confused, but instead with a sense of clarity that just, I don't know, it feels the Queen of Wands, the King of Swords, the King of Cups, the King of Pentacles, you know, like it just feels like this sound decision, King of Wands. I mean, you've just got a lot of like action oriented, decided, sound decision making um, that feels like it comes with a lot of healing. And I'm, I'm loving this. Okay. Collective. Let's do one last card for us and we will call it a read. The fault line. Okay, well, we're not ending on that. <laughs> because now. The fault line, the mother, and the mask. What if that confusion was me holding on to an identity? Then I guess you're letting go of the identity. I would love to know how this resonates with y'all. If it does, please give me a like, share, and subscribe, and I will see y'all again soon. Bye.